Okay, this is what it looks like. Let me put it onto a bigger screen. So down here, you will see that there are some instructions that you can follow. And you might find that this is more accessible for you if you just read those instructions. I like to do, I like to play around with things. So let me just show you um, here where it says type. This is where you can change the sound that you're going to get for that um, colour. Volume. You don't really need to touch any of these. You might want to play around with this. So at the minute it's on easy. But you could change it to expert. And that gives you more notes to play with. Um, I'm going to keep it on easy. There we go. And here we have preferences. So you can customise things in there. And edit. Now, I'm going to show you straight away how to add tracks. And how to add more bars more sections so you can change the song length so at the minute there's 16 bars but you're probably going to need more room so i would change that to maybe 32. what you'll see happens then is you get this gray scroll bar at the bottom so you can move along you also might want to add more instrument channels so each color is an instrument channel so at the minute you can have three instruments plus some sort of percussion drums so these are instrument channels and these this gray one is a drum channel you'll see if i click on the drum channel the grid formation is different to the instrument channels so you might want to add some instrument channels as well i'm going to edit um and i'm looking for where i do that channel settings pitch so these are the instrument channels i'm going to add six and i'm going to change that to two and what you'll see is straight away that changes the number of things that you have to play with. Now you can have six different instruments at the same time and two different drum patterns at the same time. OK, now let me show you how this works. It's, it's all to do with numbers and patterns. OK, you can only have six different instruments playing at any one time because each colour is a different instrument, but you can have different patterns as you go. So this is number one. So that's going to play pattern one. So I'll let me program some stuff in. And I'll play it. And you see it's playing pattern one, pattern one, pattern one. And then it'll loop back. This is a loop here, the purple. You'll see if I stretch it, we'll get nothing as it hits the next section where it's got all the zeros. Because that's pattern nothing. So let me just show you. If I add um, some ones in here where we've already programmed our pattern, then you'll find that it will play. So if you want the melody to change, you would program in a different pattern on a different channel number, like a different number here. OK, let's add something else. So that's the blue instrument channel. Let's go for yellow. And I'm going to change the voice to a fiddle. Let's sound, see what that sounds like. Click it back. Now we've got two sounds at the same time. Yeah. And I'm just going to move that loop back so that it's just doing these. And let's add in something else. I'm going to add in chiffer. No. Yeah, I want chiffer. What's chiffer? Here we go. Right, let's see what that sounds like. Doesn't sound bad. Then I'm going to add in some percussion. So the percussion channels are at the bottom, the grey and the brown. Let's go with grey. I'm going to choose a wood block and I'm going to go quite high. OK, let's see what that sounds like. Ugh. What's happened here? OK. So that's already 
sounding okay. Now, if you don't like any of these, you just click on them and they disappear. Look, I'll show you in the instrument track. Click on it, I don't like it. Click on it, I don't like it. So you can very quickly start building things up. Okay, so just to recap, these are the different instrument. Each color is a different instrument. You can't change that halfway through. That will always be the same instrument. And you can, but you can change your patterns. So here you could have pattern one and then you could change to pattern two, pattern three, but the instrument would stay the same. The, the channels down here at the bottom are drum channels and you can scroll along because we added the extra space. You don't need to add any extra space if you don't want to. It just depends. So when you first start to play around with it, just start playing around with it as the basic things. And then when you want to start adding and changing, you can add and change.